Hey folks, Michael Kincaid here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we got a cool little treat. Got my good buddy Scott Glass that has brought over a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon that we are going to take out and just absolutely freaking destroy off-road. Can we do that? Of course we can. There we go. This thing is brand new, brand spanking new, right off the lot. I think we got a window sticker in here somewhere. All right, the Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. Who would have thunk that a four-door Jeep would start running in the 39,000, 335? It is an extremely nice Jeep, and if you have $40,000 to burn, Come see my boy Scott Glass at uh, Mountain View, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, and Ringgold, you, Georgia. Ringgold, Georgia. You want a Hellcat, he can hook you up. But this is a 2015 pretty sweet little ride. As far as Jeeps go, this is the top of the rung on the ladder. The Sahara comes with a little bit nicer, I guess, interior, interior and whatnot. But as far as a Jeep, which you buy a Jeep for, to go off road, this is the as good as it gets. You do have the sway bar disconnects and the axle lock. Because if you think about it, in most 4x4 vehicles today, when you put it in four-wheel drive, it's really not in four-wheel drive because you have limited slip differentials up front and in rear. So if you get a four-wheel drive truck stuck, you will notice in most cases that you're only going to have one tire that'll spin and the other one just be stationary. But that is not the case with the Rubicon because you can lock in the axles. So all four wheels are gonna turn no matter what and just makes a huge difference going off road. But anyhow, we're gonna take this thing out for a little test spin and see how she does. Take a look at the interior. Here's my boy Scotty. <laughs> hey, let freedom ring. We need a Jeep. Look, we got the Rubicon in the back. It does have the stitching here on the seats. This one is automatic. Of course, you got your uh, transfer case there. No navigation in this one. You can get these things loaded out and you're pushing about 45 exactly. with all the bells and whistles. But the cool thing, Ringgold Jeep, they actually have some really unique models that they put together themselves with the help of this place on the back yes the off-road center they got their own off-road center so they have a hurricane edition i wish he would have brought that home so we could test drive that but he brought home for the weekend so we can kind of play around in it we have the <clears throat> edition for the hunters but this one just comes with the hard top it does not come with the soft top but the back seats are actually fairly roomy this one's back about all the way and decent uh, seating back there, but again, they do not drive like a Jeeps have passed. They are more car-like. But anyhow, we're gonna take this thing for a little test drive and uh, throw a few GoPros on here and see what happens on this beautiful fall day. Ah. Hop on in here, son. Camera check in one, two, three. All right, we're doing this. <clears throat> Scotty, don't break that. No. This thing's brand new. All right, we're here, 15-2. See what kind of damage we can do with this bad boy, right? Yeah. Let's roll. Are you insured? Even though I don't have a license or insurance? The dealer tag is in the floor. You're on a test drive. I have no clue. We're good. Where's the power mirrors at? Right here. Look, buddy. Oh, <laughs> over there. Uh, yeah. Hey, heads ah! Oh, God. Oh, that one. Ah! It gets you. Hey, watch the language. We're rolling tape. Hey, is this going to be a YouTube video? Yeah. Yeah. So, my great grandmother's. Hell, I'm going to go. Hey guys, if you get a chance, check out uh, the um, 
what was it, taco soup video? Yes. It's yours pizza truly soup. right here. Pizza soup. By great aunt Becky. Exactly. <clears throat> and we're off in the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Brute. Scotty, who said filming was easy? Oh. All right. Okay, and now we're off, maybe. All right, we're doing some hardcore street driving in the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Enjoying a beautiful fall day. Oh yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you, there's nothing like taking your family out in a nice ride in a Jeep. You know, we got the two tops out on the front, cruising down the road. 79 miles on this beautiful Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. But it's cool, it's got the uh, Rubicon stitching in the seats. Kind of uh, weatherproof, waterproof. Oh, well, they stepped up a notch. They got the auto dimming, uh, you know. Auto dimming uh, mirrors? Mirrors, I mean, good gosh. If you notice, Right there, you got a little symbol at the top. It's got the little seven slashes. It's That's for the um, seven, seven continents. continents. I knew that. We're coming there. up to the Kincaid residence. Uh, we got the, the big diesel truck, the camper. We're just gonna pull right up in the yard because we're not scared. We're Wife go loves on. it. Wife loves when I drive through the yard. We got to, we've got to do a little off-road action here. <laughs> Yes, it is. I bought it. You want to go for a ride? Yes, yes. Ah, I'll get some shoes on. I don't know. No, we'll get some shoes on. We'll go over to Scotty. Well, all right, we're going to drop them back off. Dad, is that really yours? Tell mom to come look at it. What is it? We can't get it. Is there a camera still down here? Yes. Yay. All right, Charity. Charity, come look at this thing. Really, my wife could care less. <laughs> she likes Jeep, so. Why are they in? Well, get in. Alright, more extreme off-roading. Can we go back here? Sure. What do you think? think? This may be, uh... Well, this is a freaking Rubicon. Look at that, 6750. So we're cutting in a few houses back to here. <clears throat> This is this is perfect. I think they're pouring the footers. We got us a new house going in. So if you're a contractor, this is the perfect Jeep to go look at land, anywhere you want to go. I want to be careful. There's nowhere to turn around. You can turn around down there. You could in this. I promise you. There we go. Again, we're not even in any type of four-wheel drive. This is obviously just a little dirt road, but... I would hate to live right here. Why? Because there's nowhere to place. 